Good morning, this is Kelland on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. A former Sioux Falls middle school teacher faces 20 new child porn charges. And according to documents filed in federal court, the alleged crimes have been happening significantly longer than investigators originally thought. We first told you about Justin Pruschel in March when he was charged with solicitation of a minor and lost his teaching job. The case eventually moved to federal court, where Pruschel was initially accused of committing 16 crimes between June of 2023 and January of this year. He is now charged with 36 counts beginning December of 2022. The U.S. Attorney's Office says he posed as a 15-year-old boy online and pressured multiple girls to send him sexually explicit materials. He also attempted to send them pornography. Crucial was employed at Whittier Middle School at the time of some of the alleged crimes. A 21-year-old Sioux Falls man is behind bars accused of robbing a woman at gunpoint. Adam Ishmael faces a list of charges including robbery and aggravated assault. According to police, a woman was sitting in her car waiting for a friend in western Sioux Falls Monday evening. That's when Ishmael allegedly came up and pointed a gun at her, took her keys, phone and wallet. He then took off. Police caught up with him on Tuesday afternoon. This is a little unusual case because there is really no connection between the, the victim and the suspect, but um, we were able to get an arrest in a, in a short amount of time thanks to the great work of the property crimes detectives and the violent crime unit detectives. Sioux Falls police said surveillance video and traffic cameras helped investigators find information and locate the suspect. Crews in the Black Hills are battling a wildfire west of Rockerville. The Pennington County Sheriff's Office shared these pictures and video of what's being called the Silver Mountain Fire. Officials say the traffic shut down the Silver Mountain Road. The fire is estimated at 22 acres and is now 50 percent contained. The cause is unknown at this time. Pennington County Emergency Management says there's an evacuation warning for the area. Authorities add that aircraft dropped a flame retardant on the blaze. No buildings are being threatened at this time, but deputies will start notifying area residents. Now let's get a check of our weather with meteorologist Brian Carsons. Brian? All right, and that fire weather concern is certainly a top headline. We have red flag warnings in effect today for much of western and central South Dakota, so continue to be very cautious about that whole subject. It looks like these fire weather forecasts will be expanded into much of eastern Kettleland tomorrow. And in fact, it will keep the headlines for the West. So today, our numbers, Sioux Falls warming back to 74. We've got 77 in the forecast for Pier, 84 in Rapid City. We'll march through the weekend forecast details coming up in just a couple of minutes. Thank you, Brian. Animal shelters all across the country are in crisis with too many pets coming in and not enough going out via adoption. The Sioux Falls Area Humane Society is not quite full, but it's partnered with the Bissell Pet Foundation to empty its shelter over the next two weeks, where you'll pay a reduced price. Our shelter can hold about 500 animals. Uh, right now we have about 400 animals, so we are on the fuller side, so we definitely want to get these guys out of here. Sioux Falls is one of 390 shelters in 44 states participating in the event from now until October 15th. The Home Builders Association of the Sioux Empire is hosting its showcase of remodeled homes this weekend. The event gives people the chance to look at remodeling projects being done in the city by various contractors. This main floor project was done by Sakura Remodeling. We removed some interior walls to create a much more open space for the family that lives here. Um, all new floor coverings, new millwork on the inside. We've got new windows on the front of the house and the back of the house. The showcase of remodeled homes is tomorrow and Sunday from noon to five. It costs five dollars to get in and see the 10 projects featured in the showcase. For a map of locations, follow the link under this story on Kelloland.com. Downtown Sioux Falls is gearing up for their art and wine walk today. Different musicians, painters, potters, and more will be located in numerous businesses in the area. The event is even spilling into part of the road. One special addition to this year is we're closing off 9th and 10th um, on Phillips Avenue between 9th and 10th um, and putting live artists in the street. Um, and so that activation is really important to DTSF as well. Wine cards can be purchased near the street closure. We posted more information about the event under this story here on Kelloland.com. That's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Carstens. Brian?
All right, our weather update here. We have a red flag warning in effect today for western and central South Dakota. High fire danger and more of that tomorrow. A fire weather watch is in effect for this area shaded in the peach color. Um, in addition to that, too, we already have red flag warnings for much of western South Dakota. So some of these headlines crisscross, but the bottom line is the fire danger is really at the top of the scale. We're going to be in some issues here, not just with this short term forecast, but I'm uh, well, it's, I'll just say it next week. We're not going to get out of this pattern. We're going to have more dry, hot weather. Record breaking temperatures are looking likely next week. OK, so let's look at the next 24 hours. Just zooming in on the short term forecast. See the winds? Picking up there, western Kettle Land by 1 o'clock. I think right now, Pier and uh, Rapid City will be at least 20 to 40. Sioux Falls will be growing with more momentum behind the winds uh, through the day and then into tonight. In fact, the overnight wind will likely increase substantially by daybreak along the Coteau areas in the northeast. You can see some sample winds at 9 in the morning around, uh, say, Millbank, uh, down to Ivanhoe. Could be 40-plus there. Rapid City could get into some issues with strong winds gusting over 50 miles per hour tomorrow morning. And then all that wind out of the northwest is going to march into Sioux Falls. It's going to be a windy afternoon. It'll be plenty warm, too. It'll be in the low to mid-80s in the southeast. So lots of things to consider there. Let's uh, just right now be very careful, very vigilant about the fire weather. The temperature forecast, 70s east. You can see the 80s building this afternoon in the southwestern part of South Dakota. For tonight, uh, the numbers are definitely milder. A lot of 50s by daybreak tomorrow morning. Even some of you might even hold in the 60s in the west. And then tomorrow, again, all that wind rushing in from the northwest. And well, as windy as it is here in South Dakota, it's going to be worse in North Dakota. They're going to have winds up toward Bismarck and Minot, 50 maybe 55 miles an hour tomorrow. So a lot of wind with these prairie systems, but no rain. We cannot squeeze any moisture out of this. In fact, the extended forecast is dry all the way through day seven. Next week, I see a lot of 80s coming back at the end of the forecast. We'll see if we even manage to get some 90 degree weather in parts of South Dakota. That's a big deal. We're going to be in record territory if we do that. Aberdeen right now, we have you positioned at 82, but stay tuned. There's room for that number to go up. Also appear in Rapid City, at least in the low to mid 80s by the end of the seven day forecast. So a very warm pattern, very dry one as well. Check out more details at kettleland.com.